Hey, what up? It's your boy Chef Boudreau, man. Look, today we're gonna be doing some beef street tacos. I got some marinated skirt steak here. I did my best trying to get all the silver skin off, so don't shoot me. But I might go on and throw in some uh throw in some uh shredded chicken on there too. I don't know, it all depends on how I'm feeling. So I'm gonna do some corn and flour tortillas i will be making a roasted tomatillo and a salsa and also a, a salsa verde and a uh, salsa and a little pico i'm gonna start with the pico but right now i'm gonna show you i got these roasted uh jalapenos right here all right i'm roasting some so we're gonna roast them off if they fall out, I pick them up for the most part, like this one trying to do right here. But I'm going to roast them on the stove if I can pick it up. It's going to be in the bloopers, don't worry. Look, they all falling. Look. All fall down. Remember that song? Anyway, ooh, fire high. But anyway, I'm going to get this one off because, of course, it's going to be on the blooper reel. If my camera person don't stop, all right, so now we didn't got that out the way with the bloopers. I'm going to go on and start with the speaker. All right, so we're going to cut this onion up. I ain't used these knife skills in a while. All right, so now we're going to do this. Throw a little onion in there. Fresh onion. We're going to do some of these tomatoes. All right, chop, 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 chop. Okay. I'm going to do this by hand. Usually I got this little thing that dice them for me, but I ain't, I ain't going to do all that. So I'm going to show you all how that's going to go real quick. Then we're going to put all that together. I'm going to zest a little lime juice. <clears throat> Once these uh, these uh, jalapenos get done, I'm going to throw those roasted jalapenos in there. Use that to make the tomatillo. Now, I'm not the salsa verde. And also, uh, also the salsa. But what I'm not going to do is I'm, gonna I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. The tomatillos, I'm going to roast off too. And really all, all the salsa verde is the tomatillos. Um, a little lime juice. We're going to have the uh, onion, cilantro, all that stuff. All that's going to go into the pico and also the salsa, okay? I'm not really going to make that because it's going to be a long, drawn-out video if I do that. So, so we're just going to do that as it as it comes. But for now, I'm going to get this out the way. The way to those... Uh, wait till the uh, jalapenos are done. Whoa! Ain't had no night bloopers. <laughs> I have to stop the video and go to the doctor. Urgent care. And you gotta have a sharp knife doing this kind of stuff, people. Don't be trying to use that knife your grandma had. That ain't working. Some people gonna call this text mix because you know I'm from New Orleans. We don't really. So I'm going to do the best I can, all right? Don't shoot me down. Just roll with your ball on this one, man, even if you don't like it. You can do your tacos, your street tacos, however you want. All right? Boom. So when I come back, we're going to get those jalapenos together, and then we're going to roll with it like that, all right? Okay. So now we're going to throw in a little lime zest. Yes, I washed this line. All 
All right, so now after we do that, we'll get a little bit of this lime. Squeeze the juice in, all right? I'm just going to do a little salt pepper. You got to be extra. Look at them jalapenos over there. See how they roasting? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we got that in there. Get a little bit of this cilantro over here. Try to make this as easy as possible. All right. Here go the cilantro. Ooh, I wish I had smell of vision. All right, so we'll throw that in there. Go. We're going to come back with a little salt and pepper. I'm going to show you how uh, I'm about to take these roasted peppers off. And we're going to put them over here. And we're going to close them down in this foil. Let them soften up. We're going to get that ash off. Then we're going to chop, put them in here. But now, we got this grill hot over here. So now we're going to start to place our meat on. Hopefully, it's hot. Let's see. All right. Ain't as hot as I would like to. I might move it over and put it on this high flame. But it sounds like it's doing a little something. All right. I'm still going to move it, though. Use my trusty knife to get it over here. There we go. Now we're going to crank this bad boy up. There we go. Alright. Turn that off. Now, what we're going to do is we don't want to cook this all the way. Now I know some of my people like they meat fully cooked, right? Okay. But you got to allow your meat time to rest so what we're gonna do since this is marinated we're just gonna let this sear on both sides and we're gonna let it rest and we're gonna you might see a little slight pink in there but this is not the kind of meat that you actually want to fully cook because you might well just like chewing a boot okay i know i'm from the boot but you don't want to chew on a boot all right so come over here and we're gonna Take this glove off, all right? Now, like I said, we letting this rest for a little minute. Squeeze the lime juice. We're going to add a little salt, a little pepper. You don't have to add pepper if you don't want to. Or you can do white pepper. This is your pico de gallo. You do it how you want. But for Chef Boudreaux, this is what I'm doing. All right? That might look like a lot of salt, because of course, yes, Louisiana people do season their food. <laughs> That's why y'all be getting your ass kicked on them TV shows. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> I said it. Yeah, I said it. All right, look at that. Look at that, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Now, the lime juice is what that going to do is help to break down the tomato a little bit. And it helps with a little bit of acidity. But this is going to all come together with the salt, the lime, all that stuff going to start to break down after a while. This is the same thing they use to make ceviche. That's why your shrimp and your fish kind of look cooked after it's done. But it's the acidity in the lime that gets that all come together. All right. Let's see what we're doing with these jalapenos over here. They all kind of hot, so I'm going to need some more gloves. Hold on. Let me flip my meat. Ain't as hot as I wanted to, but it's seared it enough. There you go. That's a nice little sear. That's a nice little sear, too. I'm going to move this in a little bit. All right. Now, so we're going to start to remove this skin, this ashy skin off. See that? And it's okay if some stay on. It ain't gonna kill. 
It's just going to make you stronger. Ass to asses. I'm going to give it a little once over with the water. Kind of help it a little bit. Now, if you want this spicy, you can cut this over, open and, and, and get the seeds out for the less spicy. But for my spicy people, you can go ahead on and leave that on and just chop it up. Put it in there. I'm going to say these two. Well, I knew it was going to happen sooner or later, so I had to try to hurry up and cut it. But at least my smoke detectors work when they're supposed to. Not when you're doing videos and then your shit just go. Yip. No, that means you need to change battery. So my batteries is working. Anywho. <laughs> All right. So we're going to chop these up. Seed in on mine. Seed out on yours. Okay. Now, if it come on again, I didn't crank my fan up a lot higher. My exhaust fan actually goes outside, so I'm kind of glad of that. All right, that's enough for me. Throw that on in there, too. Mix that on in. And there's my pico. It will continue to break down as the time goes. I'm going to put this in the fridge. I'm going to make the tomatillo sauce. Y'all guys just won't get to see me make it. But it's kind of made on the same uh, deal as the pico de gallo and the salsa. The only thing to me that's different with pico de gallo and salsa is you're pulsing and grinding up the salsa more, which kind of makes the sauce, okay? Hence the word salsa, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Boy, it didn't happen again. Anyway... <laughs> I just moved it, okay? Oh, uh, boy. So, all I got to say. At least they work, all right? So, I'm going to go ahead on and just remove these from the heat. Hopefully, this does not happen again. I'm going to let this rest because I got two more to put on. Uh... And then we'll start building once these are done. And lay these last ones on. Oop, I got three more. Prayerfully, this does not happen. Again. I'll probably finish those up for later. I'm going to let these rest. And after that, we're going to go ahead and toast off. The in the man, uh, in the words of my man Rick, we're gonna toast off the tortillas. So uh, after we toast off those tortillas, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the end product of the tomatillo sauce and the end product of the salsa. Okay, like I said, it's gonna take long. This is taking longer than what I usually do, uh, for the exception of these smoke detectors uh so when we come back we're gonna start to assemble i'm gonna show you guys how you can toast off these tortillas or whatever we don't even have to do it i could just put it together for another detector go all right okay so now we didn't let these rest it but i gotta get the other ones off all right so and let them rest over here now what you see on this plate is not blood that's actual from the drippings from the meat okay now right here we have our rustic tomatillo right here we have a 
chunky salsa. And then we just have our white onion and our cilantro because we're doing street tacos, right? Turn this off. And then we're going to start to toast off these. We're going to toast off these uh, tortillas. First, let's see what the meat look like because it's got to be cut very thin. Okay, so we good on the meat, right? So we're going to cut this very thin. Some people eat it like this. Some people chunk it. But Chef Boudreaux just going to put his like this. I'm a, little, I'm a little ignorant, so I don't follow directions very well. Okay, look at that. See, not overcooked. Just right. Then we'll do the rest as follows, all right? So for now, give me a little minute, and I'm going to start doing these tortillas. Okay, got a little corn, got a little flour. Got my meat already sliced. I did decide to throw some shredded chicken in there, okay? This video is taking longer than what I expected. So here go the corn down. Okay, we're going to get that hot. Then we're going to assemble that. Then we throw the flour on and we in there. Alrighty now. So now we got tortillas all toasted off. Now we're just going to dress one with beef. And then chicken on this side. One with chicken over here. And one with beef on this side. Can you please get a little cameo of him? Because he's just going to keep dead, yeah, Teddy. You got your five minutes of fame. Now go on now. Okay. Now you can go ahead on and dress him up. Like I said, this street taco. These my street tacos you make yours how you want okay little onion this cilantro i'm gonna make a mess on here because i can it's a cutting board all right there you go and you can go ahead on and throw a little another lime if i can find one there you go one right here don't go too far people all right so now we're going to go ahead on and zest this bad boy, just like this, over the top, again, just a little shoe pop We're going to cut a little bit, squeeze a little juice, boom, we in there, run this over the top, yeah. Now, you can choose what sauce you want, whichever one you like. I'm going to, since I like flour tortillas, and I'm going to try this spicy, this tomatillo sauce. You know what? I'm a little ignorant. I'm going to do both. I'm going to do both. Yeah, I'm making a mess. So. All right. Y'all ready? Mm, yeah. Um, the main juice. Um, mm. now the juice taco. But damn, man, this is boss Chef Boudreaux. I'm about to take this off and go finish eat my tacos. My damn tacos, she boy. Pico, I made my ass forgot it. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't need no bread. Nah, I'm out. It's your boy.